Hi everybody, my name is Chris from Reading Town and thank you for joining us today for Kids Times. Now today's topic, we will talk about animals in the Arctic. So the Arctic is where the top and bottom of the earth and it's very cold and there's a lot of snow and it's very white. So snow and white color represent the North Pole. So the North Pole is the very top of the earth. So what do we think about uh, what represents the North Pole? Well, snow and white color. What about Korea? When we think about Korea, what do we think about? So we think about kimchi, so kimchi represents Korea. The hanbok represents Korea. So represents is saying what we really think about when we say North Pole or when we say something. The bears and foxes living there adapted to the cold weather and white surroundings. So in the Arctic, there's cold weather everywhere. It's very cold and everything is white because of the snow. And these, ba uh, these animals, they adapted. Adapted is when the animal or plant or person, they change to follow what is around them. So when we are in a cold place, people, we adapt. How do we change? We put on our jacket. But when we go to the jungle, we adapt or we change again. We take off our uh, jackets and we put on, you know, short clothes for the summer. Polar bears and polar foxes are covered with white hair to survive or to live in the cold. It helps them not to stand out in the white environment. So when everything is white, right, the snow is white, the mountains are white, if the animal is a red color, then they will stand out. But everything is white and these, are, these animals are white, they will not stand out. So stand out means uh, everything is the same, but one thing is different. It's a different color or it's very big. But if you don't stand out, then you can't see every, anything. Everything is the same color, everything looks the same. Um, so, their predators, predators are the animals that try to eat them, cannot spot them easily. They cannot see them if this is snow or if it's a polar bear or if it's a fox because they do not stand out. Everything is white, their fur is white, their environment or their world is white. Okay, we have three review questions here. A, animals living in the North Pole, right? Again, the top part of the earth where Santa Claus is, blank, to the environment there. The environment means what is around there, the mountains, the land, the you know, ground, the trees, it's all white. So they, of course, they have to change their bodies too. They cannot be a red color. They have to change their fur to a white color. And another word to say when animals change, it's to adapt. They adapted or they changed their bodies to live there. B, two, blank in the cold area, polar bears have lots of hair covering their bodies. Polar bears, their body is covered with hair, right? If they do not have the hair. If we cut all their hair off, they will die, right? But they have their hair, so they will not die. Another word for not dying is survive. So they can survive, they can live because they have hair covering their body. Okay, see, polar foxes, uh, this animal here, are blank. So they don't get caught by their predators. Predators are maybe eagles or other birds or different you know, bears and they don't get caught because they cannot see them. They cannot see them because the land or environment is white and also the animal is white. So we're talking about the color here. When there's white plus white, the predators, the bears, and the eagles, they cannot see the animals. They do not stand out. Okay, we're gonna have three review grammar questions here. A, snow and white color, blank, the North Pole. So we read this word before, represent. Um, you know, we, 
we learned that represents, if we t think about, let's say, apples. What represents apples? What do we think about when we think about apples? Well, red, it's sweet, it's a fruit, right? So again, North Pole, what represents the North Pole? What do we think about when we think about the North Pole? Well, snow and white color, right? So snow, one, white color, that's two, right? We have two subjects, two juas. So we have to pick the first one, or the second one, sorry, represent. Represented, we're talking about the past tense, right? Before, before. Represent means right now, right? All the time, 언제나. And representing, it means it's going right now, 현재 진행, right? So we want to say all the time, 언제나, it represents the North Pole. Okay, B. Polar foxes are covered blank hair. So the main verb that we want to focus on here is covered. Covered means it is everywhere around the body, all over the place, the face, ears, neck, everywhere. It's covered, right? So when we use covered, we use the preposition with hair. So we can say a pineapple is covered with spiky things. Ye uh, lemons are covered with yellow skin and fish they are covered with scales and birds are covered with feathers you and i humans we are covered with you know skin right see it helps them not to blank in the white environment so again we have this word stand right we are not talking about sitting and standing right we're not talking about that we want to talk about when we can see something so if the all we see is white snow and we see a red animal that animal stands out right uh, everything is white but we see the red animal that red animal stands out we can see it very very easily right so the, again the white foxes they are white and the snow is white so they do not stand out all right so again, represent is talking about when we think about something, what do we first think about? When we think about the North Pole, we think about snow and white. Cover and with goes together. You and I are covered with skin. And stand out, we're not talking about sitting and standing. We are talking, can we see it easily or can we not see it easily? All right, so I know it's the summer right now, but wait till the winter and see the different things that stands out and things that don't stand out. All right, thank you for joining us for Kids Times. My name's Chris from Reading Town. I'll see you next time.